Hello and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms. We are fighting for our very life here all the time. Um, I've read some new tips and guides and some forums, so this game is really hard. I mean, I'm playing a hard character, I know that, but still, it is so many things that we need to do here. Right now, I'm here at my enemy's town, so, I mean, we are at, I think, a peace right now um, with Gong Sun Zan. Um, up here, and why can I see that up here? Because my spy is finally working, so he's infiltrated this city here, this large town of Gong Sun Zan. So that is our very first step towards um, having a spy network, and probably we can do something with that soon then. I don't know yet, um, but look at that. I mean, beautiful map, by the way. I like the, the art direction here with the mountains and everything. Um, and he's actually my main target, so my goal was to get the north here, but yeah, this is not going to work anymore. He's way too strong for now, so I'm trying to do it with a bit more diplomacy. We're trying it with the spy network, so perhaps we can bring some, we get some new allies perhaps against him. So we have Leo Bay here. He's quite good, so he's right up there now, um, fighting against those enemies here. That's Sang Han Yang, and he he's Gong Sun Sun again, so that's his territory here. So we need to kind of, well, crush him somehow. It is the primary goal here right now. Um, I have still this city here, Henai, so there we have a smaller army here positioned now. I'm recruiting some heavy um, crossbowmen, so... They would be good for defend for defending the city here. And we could probably also go for the large city upgrade soon. I don't know yet. Our finances look good. And that's about the only thing that's looking good, I think, right now. So the finances. Um, that's because we have specialized some of our districts here um, to their strength. Something that we've done way too late. Um, and we are now here ready um, to finish this turn here real quick. So the spy event is happening, the character, character uh, development, nothing here, very fancy, and just some diplomacy there. Um, we do have some food, but I definitely want to get my food production up a bit more. So that is our food supply um, area here, and we definitely want to do something here. Um, right now, not much that we can do, so we need to get some more reforms. Our food is quite low since we've lost the farmlands here to him. At least we're at peace terms with him now, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I would meet with my um, let's see, so Leo Bay is doing something again. He's quite strong, so he's quite active up there. And I have no idea how they can um, su sustain so many f uh, armies, you know. Some of them have a lot That's of armies. Trade. Right, Han Sui wants to tr um, get... He wants my merchant. And we would also get a trade agreement. Very nice. And he would actually pay 700 for a trade agreement. That's a good deal. Let's do that. that I'm happy all. with that. 700 coins and a trade agreement of 500 coins per turn. If and it's winter. Deficit, your people will have to rely on local reserves. Once they start running low, public unrest will start to grow. Eventually leading to rebellion. Right. So we have a food um, shortage. That's the problem. We, we have quite some um, food trade routes that are still active. So they're running out soon though. That's two trade routes with food that we have right now. So we are giving food. Because there was a time when we just had a lot of food. Right now we don't have that. That's that. Um, Money-wise, we're a good position again, 7,500, and we have almost 3,000 per turn. So we can get some decent armies with that. It's so two big armies, I think. Um, and we can also recruit a bit more if we want here. Another infantry and another, yeah, let's say, oh, that's a special unit here. But I want to get, oh, and a trebuchet. Yeah, let's get a trebuchet there. That would be nice, just in case we have a siege or something like that. We could have this but he can't have them okay doesn't match him leo bay has actually taken the north here and we are all yeah going towards the farmlands perhaps we can trade it then you know to get that perhaps leo bay is, is merciful to us while we are still working on our recovery from all those setbacks that we had Right, so with that money we could now get, um, I think, Beihai to a bigger city. We could upgrade that to a city. 
and get another slot for that. Um, but I don't think, yeah, the food production would go down even more. So that is something I don't want to do right now. This one is even more. Yeah, that's minus four food. So we need to wait for the, the trade route, the food trade route to run out in, a th in one turn. That is one thing. And the other thing is, what I've read is that my sky got promoted. Look at that. So my spy has been recruited in Gong Sun Zan. And he got promoted to general. Thanks to the determination, clarity of purpose, providing them opportunities to promote our own cause. And he has been promoted to government. My, that is an efficient spy there. Increasing the power and influence. Let's have a look. There is our spy. So we could do something now. You know, we could accost traders, subtract the faction's trade efforts, thereby diminishing their trade power, or interfere, meddle in the faction's intelligence efforts, thereby diminishing their counter-spying attempts and increasing your spy's cover. Those would be options that we have now, but I'm waiting for something else. So we could do probably... My spies currently leading an army. So perhaps we could um, at some point turn that army to us, to us, you know, in, in, in a time when it's crucial. Is that him actually? Our spy, what's the name? Quan Li? Let's see where Quan Li is. I think that's him, right? Yeah, that's, that's our spy here leading the army, but it's a very small army yet. But that is pretty cool. So that is the, the spying. And we could... At the moment we can't do anything. He's not strong enough yet. No. And I can't move him. So at the moment there's nothing I can do. But perhaps there's something coming up in the future. Right now he is pretty good there. How can I increase my spy network? I only have one active. One of one. Because that seems to be a really good way of actually um, infiltrating the enemy. I haven't done that yet. That is something to remember for the next, for my next playthrough. I'm going with Sao Sao probably, and then we go for a full spy network as well and diplomacy because I think that's very powerful. Because the enemy armies are always very very strong. It would be a nice thing to infiltrate them like this. So at uh, perhaps he's going for a siege something, or I'm going to attack him, and he's got this army there, and he wants to use it, and all of a sudden I can turn this army around and use it against him. That would be fun. We could do something like that. Alright, we still have some money here. That looks pretty good. That's a fishing port. Food production increase. So one more food, one more income. 30 more income. Oh, two per yeah, plus one food production. Let's get this one there. We definitely need that food over there. And right. With that, I think it's done for this for this turn. There's nothing we can do. And I don't think we have any more assignments open. Nope. One is running here with one out of eight. And I think we don't have enough characters here. But we could buy a character perhaps. Let's see. Um, court. There we have candidates that we can use for court. Let's have a look. He would be a trader. That's a rogue. What's that? That's a trader, a clerk, rogue, academic, saboteur. He might be good as a second spy if we have that. And of course they also need to be young. 61 is a bit old. I, I'm going to recruit him and then he dies. That wouldn't be so smart. Okay, so that's a strategist again. Character wide experience. Nope. I want to get something for assignments that I can do. Someone that gets special assignments, perhaps. Unlocks the assignment surplus markets and increases trade influence. Let's take him. Even though he has 49, that's that's still okay. Okay, now I want to recruit him. There it is. Right. That's one and we probably can send him on an assignment now. Yeah. There it is. Surplus markets, 50% income from commerce. 15% income from industry and minus 6 reserves. If he is a local commandery. But 50% um, income for what? For Taishan. Yeah. 
Takes five rounds. Let's do that. Very nice. Gives us another boost. Right there for the income. Nothing we can do here for the moment. No one's leveled up or something. And I think we're going to end the turn here now. This one's still pretty good in Henai City. Defending it. It Troops. is repaired now. We do have quite a nice army there with elite, crossbow, mens, and a trebuchet. That might be good for sieges then. And when we look over here to our main army with Kong Rong. Yeah, there could still be another... Raider Cavalry right there. Very nice. That's it for now. Let's end that turn and see what happens next. Lots of movement. Reflect on this. Nope. You're asking quite often, Yuan Shu. You need to offer me something so that I can actually say you're the emperor. For now, I don't want to do that. And he's pretty far away anyway. Oh, look at that. The spy has been killed. One of our spies has died while serving undercover within another faction. Just a lot of messages there. Faction succession. Faction destroyed. Cebu. Teaching assistant while executing an education program in the local schools. Your attendant enlisted the help of their friends stationed nearby to teach the peasantry. Their expertise has been invaluable and has improved. 15% income for the local commandery. Bit more money there. And let's have a look there. So we have Leo Bay going for the farmlands here. So, yeah, I'm a bit late to the party because I think he's pretty weak now. So we probably can do something about that. One of my generals is not happy. Let's give her a promotion there. That makes her happy. And, yeah, let's have a look at that. I'm hesitant to leave. That's the Han Empire there. I'm hesitant to leave my, my city here. But I want to take the, that farmland there and the, the small city there again and the salt mine. It all looks very tempting to me. So let's let's get up there. And we're going right for the farm. Oh. We are not at war right now, I know. But Liu Bei is at war with him as far as I know. Yep, Gong Sun Zan, there is. So, Liu Bei. Perhaps we can do something there. Yeah, out of curiosity, I would like to see um, what it is. I'm trading a... Trading something, a territory or something. Farmland. What would he say about that? Minus 24. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, doesn't matter. We have that now and we are going. Should we declare one him? I think I there's another Leo Bay. So Leo Bay is pretty strong as well. And we have two armies there now. So let's declare war on him once again. This will be short. Oh, we just declined peace. That yeah, we are untrustworthy already. Which was not our fault, by the way. So I just want to clarify that. Yeah, well, let's go back again. I don't know. I don't want to get any more untrustworthy. Liu Bei might hate me then at some point. But Liu Bei is really taking everything here. You know, we could still get the salt mine and the small city there perhaps at some point. And the Han Empire looks pretty weak down there. Let's have a look. We do have some food surplus again. That's nice to see. There's still something being upgraded there, but we can have another reform. Let's have a look at that real quick. 
And we also need to appoint a new spy, as far as I know. Twenty percent income from commerce. That's all also very nice, and gives us some new buildings that we can build. Then, what's that? Trade influence might also be very important. Plus one available spy position. Yeah, let's do that. Masterful disguise techniques improves our spy network a bit more. So let's do that. We do have two spy positions that we can open up. So let's see who can we take. Select a character. I think those are our court characters, right? Something like that. We need to get more characters in the court. And there we can see them, the candidates and their strength. So we would, or we should get um, someone that is pretty good at, at hiding. Academic, clerk, warrior, preacher, the rogue. He looks good. This character is willing to spy for us and he's 338. Yep, perfect. That is a spy. That is a trader and he would be willing to spy for us as well as a trader so let's recruit him that's 2000 there but it's okay because we can afford that for now and we would like to get those um spies now to gong sun sang that would like to deploy um the spies and the second one we could also put them to don so we have two spies there then very nice Two spies working for us. It's all about that espionage. Right, that's it. We can't do anything else here. Let's end the turn. Strong hearts will win the future. He would like to invite Liu He into the coalition. Let's accept. As you wish. But Liu He rejected. Okay, nothing happened there at least. Spy dispatched. And the other one spy dispatched as well. And we'll see what comes out of that. And let's... Yeah, he's taken it now. <laughs> that was quick. Let's move our army up there. There's Gong Sun Zan already. So we do have to support here then, hopefully. And I could move in with my second army there, but I want to use my trebuchet for the siege. So I want to, to keep it for now, like that. But I can move my main army over there and then right into his territory there, if we want that at some point. Right, and the Han Empire is down here, right? No, that changed again, it changes so often. Is she Han Empire? Yeah, she is, okay. She's Han Empire. Because I think we're at war with her, so I could go down there. Actually, they are at war with almost everyone. What do you wish? No, we don't want to trade anything with you. Glad tidings to you. Let's see if he's still willing to do something there. No, because that would be really stupid to, to want to trade, you know. Doesn't make any sense anyway. Especially a small city. That's minus 60. You know, I would I would need to give him a lot of items, I think. Trade territory. Perhaps a farmland, a simple one. A lumber yard. No, that's too far away. Plus, that's not his region there anyway. Something here. That is the farmland that I would like. Oh, 
Oh, that would be close. Farmland of Yi. That would be very close. He would actually almost give it to us. That wouldn't be so bad. So we, it could actually work like that as well, you know, getting territories with trade. So if you are really strong with financial power and with items that you have, that you get out of trade missions and stuff like that, that you just trade territories and get stronger like that. That might be an option as well. Lots of things to learn. Let's see. Beihai. Do we have anything there? There's some money. We do have some money, so we could build something. And we do have enough food again. That looks good. Bit more income there. Income from all sources. Uh, only 5% increase. We could get the guest house there though. Let's do that. Guest house. Alright. That was a pretty long term. Let's see. What is Liu Bei doing? Break an existing treaty. I have no idea what this means here now. Diplomatic proposal. Common deals break an existing treaty. And trade agreement we are trading. Oh, she, bro she broke the trade agreement with us? Something like that. But she was the bandit queen, right? She's insignificant somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, one of our spies killed again. That's not so easy. Oh my. Let's keep that one spy there for now. Okay, so there's a small city over there now. He's going for it, perhaps. No. Point forwards as one. And is she actually trying to take my city here? Moving as one. Impossible. Of the Han Empire. Perhaps she's doing that. Okay, I don't have that much money. I don't want to do any... Uh, not that much here. Right, and our main army, what are we doing with that? That is the war declaration again. Is it is the penalty down a bit? We thought you dead. No, we're treacherous then. We can't do that. But perhaps we can do something else. We could go down here. Be still to conserve. And look for the, the, the Han Empire down here. There might be something to take. Let's go down there with both our armies. Going to the south there. Perhaps we can trade some territories then with Liu Bei. You know, I give him that, that thing here that's more important to him. And he gives me more territories up there. Something like that. Right. And the spy network. We don't have any spies now that we could choose. And it's plus, plus it's really, really expensive. You know, I'm, I'm doing it one more time now. So a character that is willing to spy for me, that would be the rogue. That is not willing to spy for me. And no one else is. So we just don't have any spies right now. Only one that is working for us. Let's end the turn. My Both my armies are going down there now. And then we're going into Han Empire territory. It's right here, I think. That's her. Right. And that's her. And try to take something out of that. Perhaps. But look at that. Leo Bay is really strong. That's just him here. We'll see what happens. 